Being a MGTOW doesn't necessarily mean that you are a MGTOW monk, but to be a monk immediately includes one as a MGTOW. For me, I don't see it as a level 1 or level 5 thing, where level 5 is more extreme, etc. I just basically see it as a lifestyle based on certain choices that one has made. These choices can be based on learned lessons from past experiences or knowledge. Much of this knowledge can be gained from dwelling in the internet collective of MGTOW or having an eye for male-female interactions in the real world. To a degree, this is a request video, but at the same time, a vital one. A video that I would have eventually produced the sooner the better. There are many MGTOW monks out there that produce quality content, and via my own personal experiences on YouTube, they just don't seem to have the light shining on them. A lot of these men have their material caught in the YouTube MGTOW mix, therefore they get smothered by a lot of other content makers' videos. I'm not dissing nor hating on the non-monks whom are MGTOW, I'm only highlighting the fact that the knowledge that these MGTOW monks put out there is of utmost importance, and the message is struggling to go down the funnel. Electronically competing via metadata against videos that are extracts of news reports that we have seen time and time again, only to have some commentary before that video or after that video. Whilst I'm in the process of putting this video together, I would just like to say that I've had some people get confused about the term monk, thinking that it's a religious thing. It is not. A MGTOW monk can be of any religion and even an atheist. It doesn't matter. Even when I think monk, I think these guys wearing these long brown itchy robes with a piece of rope as a belt, Bible tucked in their pocket, constantly in prayer up on some mountain chapel. You know, all the stereotypes. They're up there making beer or crushing grapes into wine, communing with the Lord, chanting, singing, praying. Monk stuff, I guess. But the other picture that I get in my mind's eye when I hear monk is uh, like those Shaolin monks, the, the warrior monk. Yeah, the warrior monk, that, now that's what I'm talking about. Information is like food, we are what we eat. Just as much as we are what we watch or listen to, we can keep watching anti-feminist videos that really get us nowhere, but can be great entertainment. We can watch videos that are repeats of older television presentations, with some added commentary, which can also be great entertainment. But what do we really get out of this? Does this really elevate our mental state? Does it really give us any mental nutrition? I'd be a hypocrite if I told you that I don't watch some of this stuff, but it would be much better for us on a personal level to strike a balance and source more appropriate brain food. Here, in alphabetical order, are some of the MGTOW monks that have great information that we can learn from. Subscribe to them if you want to elevate your mind. You will find the links to these MGTOW monk channels in the low bar. Diligaf the MGTOW Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fucking commitment for any person to take on someone else's kids because there is that thing of you're not my dad you can't tell me what to do you're not my mum you can't tell it's fucking ongoing and that for someone that's putting in a lot of effort into a relationship is fucking heartbreaking and like i said before in other videos ones that end up suffering most from all of this is the kids element um being calm basically just just being calm in stressful situations you see, the problem with being angry all the time is that you're feeding into the system by releasing negative energy. When you release negative energy, you're feeding into the system because it's based on negative energy. So every time you get angry, you're releasing energy that goes to feed all the other negative things that are going on. Liberation Y They are still expected to protect and provide for females. Many sports figures or famous males are supporting some gold digger or paying insanely high child support or alimony. These sports heroes are manginas and white knights just like the general cattle population. They simply act a little more alpha, but even alphas are slaves on the vaginasty plantation. Alpha is a role within gynocentrism and male disposability. Mountain MGTOW You can hear the conviction in my voice. You can hear the anger. Damn fucking right I'm angry. These stupid women, they will never understand. They can never possibly understand a man's motivations. That there is something in life more worth living for than just a stupid, selfish woman. An entitled, entitled spoiled brat. 
Messenger Rising. Let's start by saying this. The word monk, in the context it's being used within the MGTOW community, is a concept. To label a subsection of a group is to use a concept. So to call men monks is to give them a tag, a label, which makes it easy to identify who they are. That's all it is. It's not a religion. As some people have suggested, plain sight. As men, I believe we have the instinct to produce, to be creative, whether it's to do practical things, such as fix a car, or to do aesthetic things such as artistic creativity and I think these activities can be vastly fulfilling these things can be far more fulfilling than sticking your dick in some woman's crotch shining light he has to either see the matrix for himself then choose to stay detached from it or be shown a new and better and more beneficial way of living outside of the matrix. Or, as we see many of the men and boys around the manosphere that are drifting back into gyno worship, wishing like Cypher to strike a deal with an agent to be plugged back into illusionary blissful existence of shallow pleasures and ignorant hope that the matrix will be good to them. Whiskey stills and tumbleweeds. Look, in all seriousness, here's the thing. If you're a true MGTOW man, if you truly want what's best for you in this world, and you truly wish to go your own way, in my opinion, being a, quote, MGTOW monk is really your only choice. And the term monk says it all right there. You avoid any relations with women. I guess celibacy really is the best word to describe it. 